On Monday, CBS aired the 60 Minutes interview with Vice President Kamala Harris, and Donald Trump did not take it very well. And before I get to Trump's response, I do want to say that I think Kamala Harris handled herself exceptionally well during that interview. It was not an easy interview. They asked her very tough questions. They grilled her on immigration. They grilled her on the economy. She was not walking into a friendly little conversation with her buddies, which by the way, those are the only types of interviews that Donald Trump will do. Harris, contrary to the narrative going around, is not afraid to step into unfriendly territory and get some questions that she's not prepared for. But even with that, I do think she handled herself very well. Donald Trump, on the other hand, not only thinks she didn't handle herself well, but in his critiques, he didn't handle himself very well either. Here is Donald Trump's exceptionally lengthy response to the interview that he posted on Truth Social. The interview on 60 Minutes with comrade Kamala Harris is considered by many of those who reviewed it the worst interview they have ever seen. She literally had no idea what she was talking about and it was an embarrassment to our country that a major party candidate would be completely inept. In addition, her incompetence on helping people through the devastation of Hurricane Helene is being reviewed as, by far, the worst in American history, even worse than Katrina, if that is possible. I can't imagine anybody living in North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Alabama, Florida, or Tennessee voting for her. Pollsters are saying that the anti or negative vote in those places, and even places not affected but with people watching that what took place, will be heavily against her. This is good news because November 5th is the most important day in the history of our country and we cannot bear four more years of incompetence. Make America great again. Whew. Holy Lord, so many lies to get through, right? The response to the Hurricane Helene has been great by the federal government. They've been in touch with state authorities. They've been in touch with local authorities. FEMA is on the ground in all of these places. Donald Trump is lying his ass off about it. And by the way, the Republican officials who are running these areas, because these are mostly Republican areas, they've confirmed that the Biden administration and FEMA have done a hell of a job. And I don't mean that as George W. Bush's heck of a job brownie comment after Katrina. These people were being sincere. However, Donald Trump, of course, had the opportunity to go on 60 Minutes. Instead of sitting on his fat couch and tweeting about it, he could have been doing an interview too, watching himself on the telly but he decided not to. And according to his campaign spokesperson, Stephen Chung, huh, he never agreed. He never backed out of the interview. Stephen Chung said this, it was fake news to suggest that the campaign ever agreed to an appearance. Um, 60 Minutes begged for an interview, Stephen Chung said. You know, they begged us, we didn't want to do it, we never agreed. And so before they got into the Harris interview, 60 Minutes decided to go ahead and point out the fact that, as per usual, the Trump campaign was lying. And they actually showed on screen the internal communications that they had had with Donald Trump's people, including Stephen Chung himself, where they agreed to do the interview and then backed out of it. So this lying little ghoul that is Stephen Chung was like, no, it's fake news. We never agreed to do any of this. And CBS is like, really? Because right here, you literally did. Any other questions? We'll show more documents if we need to. That's what CBS did. And that was freaking brilliant. Show that these people are lying through their teeth. And then, of course, get about your show. And that's exactly what they did. 